Alright guys, it is a video about the wishing well. So, I'm sure by now a lot of you guys know how to do this, but for the people that aren't aware of how to do wishing well stuff, I'll go ahead and make a video to you guys and explain how to do it. It's really easy. So, again, you go to build, bottom right corner, and then you go to the second tab. Now the first tab, this right here, not this one, the second one right here, wishing well. So what this does is that you can pick certain ships from the past or whatever, or no, not the past, as of right now in the banner, in the perma pool, to pull on to get rates up. So if you guys don't know how this work it um as of right now, for example, let's go to light ships, right? Go night light ships, go next. If you want to pick an SSR here, so let's say there's um eleven options, right? No, twelve options for SSRs uh for light ships. If you pick one, say like let's pick uh yuki kazi right instead of the normal zero point let's see that's 12 divided by seven percent so that's like what like almost 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.6 yeah about 0 0.6 percent chance to get the ssr you want within that ssr banner but now so it's like 0 0.6 percent for yuki kazi before now it's two percent so you're almost tripling your rates here when you pick the character that you want to do uh, wishing well for. So let's say I'm going to do Sirius. I pick Sirius. I pick Swiftsure. I pick these two. They have 2% race up, so they tripled selection. Once you pick that, you're done. And then when you pull on this banner, I'll go ahead and do this because I'm not going to pull on it, but if you build on this banner, you get rates up for this banner. So there's a lot of options. I didn't show all of them, but basically how it works is. There are certain ships in each um, wishing well tab uh, on who to get, and you get to pick two. I picked two lights because I'm dumb. I'm supposed to make a video out of this, but I memorized a good amount of them, hopefully. Otherwise, I'll just pull out the wiki, and I'll just tell you guys which ones to pull for, so give me one bit. Regardless, though, this video is talking about the ships that you want to focus on for the wishing well. Oh my god, wishing well, right? So, in the light banner... The ones you really want to go for here are going to be Sirius, if you guys don't already have her, because Sirius is a really good buffer for uh, carriers as well, too. Now, it's not like air resistance quality good, but it stacks with air resistance um, or uh, air rate assistance. So, if you guys can't use, or if you guys need another buffer for carriers, Sirius is definitely another good option to bring in to the fleet to give your backline carriers more damage. Now, let me find Wishing Well. Next one is going to be um, the the heavy one. So heavy one, I, I vaguely remember, but there's some good options in there. Duke of York and stuff, but there's multiple ways to get Duke of York nowadays. So the big takeaways here, if I recall correctly, is going to be Tosa and um, Bismarck, I think. Yeah, Bismarck and Tosa. Bismarck, obviously, because she's a good buffer for KMS fleets and i know a lot of people in the western azure lane plays uh kms a lot and tosa is pretty good because she has she was the first introduction of cross fleet barrages if you guys don't know what i mean her skill had the first um cross fleet it was complicated but at the first cross fleet if you're using a battleship in your flagship from another fleet that you're using currently you're gonna get like a mini barrage from tosa now that barrage is absolutely awful it is zero damage it is absolutely horrendous but it's free damage so if you're missing some cross fleet um barrages or whatever then having tosa around is not that bad um i think that's all the heavy armors i remember it's a it's a small pool i wish just would i wish it was an easy way for me to look at it but i'm dumb and i picked the which i'm called already so i apologize as for the special one i don't think there's like anything spectacular from a special one i think like maybe shokaku centaur the usual special banner stuff um, there's a lot of perma stuff, there's perma, um, banner ships that are good there too, like Enterprise and stuff, but there's so, so many ways to obtain, like, Enterprise nowadays that you can just ignore her. You're eventually gonna get her, like, really, really soon, so just ignore her, but I guess Shokaku, but she comes in Invitations and Centaur, so those are, like, the big takeaways there. The ones you really, really want are gonna be, like, Sirius, Bismarck and Tosa. I think there's multiple ways to get serious, but as of right now, top of my head, those three are really important to get because there's not many ways to obtain them, like the other good ships in the game. 
and they're really good buffers or they provide some kind of utility for the fleet that you may not be aware of or it'll help greatly improve your performance in like difficult content that you may be struggling in so those three in particular so i botched that video um i picked this already i was like oh i'm just gonna pick these two show you guys how to do it yeah um i screwed that up so those three the, the, those three ships if i forgot one i apologize you guys can cover it in the comments or something but on top of my head i know bismarck tosa and sirius special banner it hasn't changed much so uh hopefully i enjoyed the video and as always i'll see you guys in the next one